Well, welcome back everyone to the channel. So today's video, we have something special. We have the all new BMW XM, which is probably one of the most controversial super SUVs of our time. A big shout out to Open Road BMW here in Edison, New Jersey for inviting me to give this car a exterior and interior tour. So let's not wait any further. Let's hop right into the video. Starting off with the exterior, this is probably where the controversy starts. It's a very, very interesting take on the X7, but blended with a little bit more sportiness, especially with this huge illuminated kidney grill. I mean, this thing is massive. I think the illumination part is really cool, but the size of it, I'm not really too sure about. The split headlight design, like I said, has been featured on the X7. Um, it is a cool design. I think it works really well in SUV form. I don't know how it would work on like a sedan or anything, but if you take a look, you can see that the bottom part is the actual like beam, high beam part, and then the, the top part is the DRL. I think it actually looks really good. Like it meshes well with the SUV body shape, but with those massive kidney grills, I'm not too sure. I think it does look better on the X7. Then down here, you obviously have a intake for airflow right here. And then you have another intake right there. And then overall, you do have like a glossy black design that goes throughout the uh, front grille. So right here, it's all glossy black. And that goes all around, goes all the way up to the top part of the hood. And then on the other side, you have the same headlights obviously on the other side as well. And then down below, you have the radar cruise control. So the front end is very muscular. Not really my style, but I could see how someone might like this. Um, it does have that aggressiveness of a super SUV, which looks cool. But again, it does have a questionable design. Not my favorite. So to continue on the exterior, you do have 23 inch gold wheels to match the gold trim on the front end. You will notice that the gold trim does follow throughout the whole car. So at least the wheels aren't just gold and there's no gold anywhere else. Um, these wheels are huge. I would be curious to know how it rides with that huge size of a wheel. I know other SUVs do have it, but again, um, it is pretty big, but you can see that it does have like an interesting shape design on the outside. Uh, would be uh, really detrimental if you curb that. Um, and then the center cap. So I noticed that the center cap was massive. Like I've never seen a like a center hub cap, like a, to like logo design that big. I mean, if you look, that's my hand. That's pretty big. Um, I've never seen anything like that. Um, I think I would have preferred like M colors on there, kind of like how you have it on the brake caliper. Um, you can see that the M logo, I think I would have liked it with the M colors. Maybe it doesn't flow better with the gold, but overall, I mean, these wheels are huge. It does suit the uh, profile of the car though. So the one thing I'm not really a big fan of is this line. So if it starts right here where the front fender is, has the XM logo, goes all the way up, all the way, all the way. And then it hits right here and goes over here on the window trim. So when you look on the outside, to me, it looks like the window trim just went down a little bit. So I think if they would have just gone with that line and maybe disconnected it from the window trim and made the window trim different, it'll look better, but I, I, I don't get it. Like, it's just too low. Like I said, it looks like the window trim just fell off and <laughs> it's just sitting there. So. I'm not really a big fan of that. The door handles are a different design than the other uh, BMWs in the lineup. You do have this like little butt out right here, and then you have like a black hexagonal design right there as well. This uh, goes really well with the interior as I'll show you later, but normal BMW handles, you can lock, unlock right there, um, and both doors have it. So as I mentioned earlier, this car does have a V8, pushes out about 644 horsepower, which I think is probably the best part of this car is that monstrous V8. Like I said, it does sound nice. You can see some of the orange electrical cables that uh, involve the plug-in hybrid aspect of this car, but this is the most powerful BMW ever made. This engine, I mean, it's great. I wish they would implement this engine in other BMWs, but maybe we'll see. Um, but definitely this is probably the best part of this car. So as I said, this car is a plug-in hybrid. So right here is where you would charge it. Um, I'm not really sure on the charging specs. I don't think it is DC, but it is a plug-in hybrid. So you get about 53 miles of range on electric only. And when you start up the car, I think it only starts up in electric. So the rear is also a very interesting part of the car. You do have a lot of different design elements kind of plastered in together. So um, like I said, you do have that window trim, but the tail lights are very interesting because you do have like these M fins on the side, which are really cool. They're lit up LED. And then you have the thin, very, very thin LED design throughout. And the actual 
tail light is like a 3D sculpture, so it's outside of the body, which is, I would say, pretty unique to compared to other cars. Um, and then you do have the quad exhaust pipes for that V8, which um, I will say are, are, are also very interesting because they're kind of like a hexagonal shape design and they're stacked, which is again, not something I've ever really seen on any other car. So I guess it kind of makes sense for this car, just kind of like go uh, balls to the walls with the design elements. Um, and then over here, you do have the XM badge in gold. And then up here, you have a BMW logo etched into the glass. Another thing I've never seen on any other car, because I've actually just noticed that there is no logo on the back of the car, not on the trunk lid, which is very unique. I've never seen that before. And like I've said that a million times for this uh, video, this car is really, really unique. And uh, it's a very interesting design choice. So um, to open the trunk, I actually think the button is right here and then it opens up. And you do actually get a really good amount of trunk space, which is great. But um, you know, for an SUV, that's kind of what you expect and you could, push down the seats as well and you'll get uh, whatever you want inside your uh, XM. Um, when you're really, really late for soccer practice, you can just fill the trunk in with whatever you need and get there in a jiffy. You might not look good doing it, but you'll, you'll get there pretty quick. <laughs> as we open the door, you'll notice that this is a two-tone leather option. So you get like kind of like a white beige interior and then you get up on the upper parts of the door, the dash is a like a vintage leather. So it kind of feels like an old cowboy boot or old leather bag. Um, it is actually a really cool feel and I do like the look and the color choice of this spec. I think it looks great. Um, then you can notice that there is ambient lighting down right there. There's ambient lighting uh, in the speaker actually as well. This is a Barrow and Wilkins system. And then there's a tweeter up on the dashboard as well. And then you can get that brown kind of like look to it. It is plastic, um, but it does look really well and meshes well with the vintage leather. Seats are very similar to the BMW M5 seats. They kind of have like this high support system up on the shoulders, both the passenger and driver get it. And I think that um, logo actually illuminates. I'm actually not 100% sure. I actually don't think it illuminates now that I'm looking at it, which is odd because the M4, M5, M3 all have illuminated badges. So I'm not sure why they wouldn't do that here. The seats are quilted and the leather is great and supple, super comfortable. The rear seats are actually amazing. And we'll take a look after this. So now let's go over the inside of the BMW XM, which I think is where the super SUV really does shine. So you do have like a typical BMW interior, which is kind of upgraded material. So right on the center dash, you do have the carbon fiber inlets, which is great. And it does extend up here right behind the screens. You do have that vintage leather, like I was saying. So it goes all the way up and around here, then up on the door cards, all the way around the car. You do have this nice brown uh, headliner, which is like a nice suede brown. Uh, I think it works really well with this vintage leather. Um, and then of course you have iDrive 8, which is the main system for the new BMWs. Um, I'm still getting familiar with it. Uh, I think it looks great. Graphics, it's crisp, it's fast. It, it, it is a really great system. Um, I do have a complaint though on the digital cluster itself. I do think that they could incorporate a little bit more information and made it a little bit more intuitive because I feel like right now it's just kind of like you click a button and you can change things while on like Mercedes and Audi, you get on the steering wheel and you can pretty much change anything you want. But the main screen is actually really nice. It is touch screen and the climate control isn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's always right there on the bottom and you just click the button and change it. So no physical buttons for climate control in the new BMWs, but overall I think it's great. So I think the rear is where the car really really shine. So you have these really nice comfy rear seats that almost feel like you're sitting on a couch. Like I've never felt more comfortable rear seats in any car. And I've sat in S classes, uh, Rolls Royces. I think this is probably close to Rolls Royce and you might know why because BMW and Rolls Royce are still in the same family. Uh, what's cool is you do get these XM branded pillows. So it says XM right here. And these are kind of like a more of like an Alcantara suede feeling. Put them right here. You can sit back, relax. There's so much leg room. I mean, I'm like 5'11". I like to say I'm 5'11", but 5'10", 5'11", and there's so much leg room. And that's probably where I would sit if I was a driver. So you get some storage back here as well. Uh, climate controls for everyone. And like I said, super, super comfy interior. But the main shine of this interior is the headliner. So you do have full sculptural LED headliner, which I think it looks crazy. I know you don't have a sunroof or a moonroof, which kind of sucks, but 
I mean, this headliner is, is something I've never seen in a car before, and it looks really, really good. Um, and it does have the full LED, so you can change it in the system, the different colors, whatever you want, you want to do. But overall, with the brown, the nice light beige, the sculptural headliner, the interior is where this car shines. Um, and it's a shame because if the exterior would just looked a little bit better, I think this car would have been perfect. All right, guys, so that was a full tour of the exterior and interior of the all new BMW XM. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this vehicle. I think, like I said, it is a very controversial vehicle. Really, it's for you to decide whether or not you like this car. Again, big thanks to Open Road BMW of Edison for having me come here and shoot this car. Um, and don't forget to subscribe as there's a lot more videos coming very soon. Thanks.